guys, welcome to Random Fix. I'm recording this video today for you guys because I decided to share with you guys what I know about the credit world for the last uh, 16 years. I've had the honor of running a lot of finance apartments, got a chance to work at a collection agency, and I've seen the benefits of uh, having great credit myself and what it allows me to do, which is utilize other people's money, a lot of times for no interest, which is the key. And in my case, I had $349,600. I did the math this morning and uh, I'm gonna share with you guys some information. So instead of talking about it on here, just wanted to show you guys on here, uh, if you're viewing this information, I know what I'm talking about. I hope you guys are gonna find this a value and today we're gonna talk about credit karma. Because one of the challenges that I often see um, is a lot of people walking around and talking about their FICO scores from Credit Karma and I'm going to show you guys how to utilize this platform today because it's free what things you should and shouldn't do with it and what cards you should and shouldn't apply for and stay tuned for that video and I hope you find this information helpful so let's go ahead and hop behind the PC to see what happens hey guys uh, welcome and in this video today we're going to be covering Credit Karma and how to actually use this Effectively, as you guys can see, I have a 801 credit score and a 797 on Equifax. And the one thing I want to point out with both these scores is these are make you feel good scores. So what that means is they want you to apply for stuff because when you apply and you get approved, I'm sure they get a kickback. I haven't checked the exact terms of use, but I'm pretty sure that's how it is, right? Since um, creditcards.com is the same exact way and if you guys haven't checked out my other video on how to get high limit credit cards please do so because you can get pre-approved for a lot of credit cards without having to run an inquiry which is what you want and um, we're here on my account so one thing you'll notice is um, on the right right here I already have this card this double cash card so you have to be very careful with what you apply for However, you can have multiple cards from the same creditor. So, for example, um, I have five different city cards here. So, keep that into account. And the same thing can be said about Discover Card, Bank of America, um, and so on. So, when you go into recommendations, I just want to show you guys something. Even if you have 800 FICO, uh, just make sure that you understand their system and that you don't run a inquiry unless you have to. So on this Capital One save your uh, saver card, I already have this card. This one right here normally has a very low limit, and I will not be applying for this. I already have this card. So uh, the same thing with this card, I have it. So if you don't have it, uh, you're welcome to apply for it. There's certain creditors that you definitely want to uh, stay with like City's a great creditor right now American Express only credit card company that's gotten me in trouble um, over the years so keep that in mind and use that information any way you see fit HSBC I've never had a card from them but based on the reviews and uh, the reputation on here uh, this may be a card that I would entertain a little further same thing with some of these other cards here and uh, just make sure that you look at their ratings here so uh, I would pretty much apply for every card here except for this one right here you see that anytime where I'm not getting a three or four or five bars I've never seen five bars before but um, if I'm not seeing that I'm not gonna apply for that card so if you have a 620 FICO uh, on here, you may see uh, one or two on here, and that's probably a good indication you shouldn't apply, and you'd be better off maybe trying a different system. So that's what I, I wanted to share about Credit Karma. And one other thing, too, is these guys allow you to do their taxes and other things on here. Just be very careful what you uh, give them because sometimes they have uh, more information about you than you do about yourself so be very very careful and uh, just keep that in mind 
All right, guys. I hope you found that information to be helpful. If you guys got any comments, please leave them below. And I have other videos on how to jumpstart your credit, how to boost your credit, how to go ahead and get high limit credit cards and get to this uh, point really quickly in a matter of uh, a couple of years. You could be there yourself. So I appreciate you guys doing something about your situation and your circumstances and improving your quality of life and your resources. Have a fantastic day. Give the video a thumbs up. Share this with somebody else. And I'm here on Thanksgiving uh, because I want to share this information with you guys. So if you found this to be helpful, go do something cool for somebody else. Make their day. And let's make this world a better place and give back to each other and share what we know. Uh, thank you, YouTube. Thank you, uh, all you guys, for checking out the video. And if this video gets 1,000 views or 100,000 views, if it helped one person, I am the happiest person in the world for doing so, and it's been my privilege. Thank you, guys.